correct. Yeah, I, I think that there's a reason uh, in terms of the support. All right, that wraps up the National Alliance this morning. Coming up next. Millions of Hindu devotees gather in the Praya Garage, India, for Mahakula Festival. Despite a deadly stampede the previous day. One of the things I get, um, I, I see a lot of people wondering if, you know, is, is my radio's uh, settings are not right? Why is it that a signal like this one, this is Radio Thailand, direct from Thailand uh, to the east coast of North America, why is, why is the signal so fluttery? Uh, why is the audio distorted like that? And so I, I have a lot of people that just don't understand the reason behind it. And it all has to do with propagation. One of the things that a lot of people don't know is that, um, you know, for example, a lot of people in North America might be thinking, well, the signal is coming from Thailand that's somewhere here and just moving there in, in, in kind of a straight line like this. And that's not the case because that's kind of a long pad type signal. It's shorter in distance to take a signal from Thailand that comes from somewhere here and move it through the North Pole so that it comes back down on the East Coast. That distance is shorter. So a lot of stations that broadcast to North America from Asia will use that trick. KBS World Radio on 15.575 does that uh, in South Korea. So that is the reason why signals are so fluttery it's because they're beaming through the north pole to us and the thing is you could see that there's the auroral zone here that's the green stuff you see at the top that auroral zone is a zone where signals have a lot of hard time propagating properly so that's why the signals are fluttery it has to go through a zone that's always, you know, unless it's extremely, extremely quiet in terms of solar activity, it's a zone that's always kind of active in terms of, um, you know, what's happening with auroras and, and the changes in the ionosphere. So when you hear a signal that's fluttery, like it is right now, tell yourself that it probably is coming through the poles at some point, either the South Pole, the North Pole, but it's crossing an auroral zone, which is kind of messing it up a little bit. So Radio Thailand right now is fluttery because it's coming through the North Pole to me here in Montreal. Brought to you by EVA Air, sharing the world, flying together. Welcome back to the Morning News Hour here on Radio Thailand. We're broadcast live from FM88 and online at crdee.prd.ca.ph. This is the Global News, catching up on the world today. Philippine President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. has announced plans to meet with U.S. President Donald Trump to discuss immigration policies affecting Filipinos in the United States. While he did not specify a date for the meeting, Marcos expressed his intention to influence U.S. policymaking on the issue. Addressing broader geopolitical concerns, Marcos stated that he would consider returning the U.S. deployed Typhoon missile system if China sees what he called aggressive and coercive behavior in the South China Sea. The missile system initially sent for military or joint military exercises in April last year has remained in the Philippines despite strong objections from Beijing. So we can see here uh, that, uh, you know, that you know, the, the new U.S. administration has definitely uh, now seen an impact on the geopolitical situation here in, uh, in, in Southeast Asia. Yes, and you know, Marcos criticized China's uh, stance on the deployment, noting that China's own missile capabilities far exceed those of the Philippines. He challenged Beijing to call territorial claims, harassment of Filipino fishermen, ramping of boats, and other confrontational actions, offering the return of the missile system in exchange. 
the relations between China and the Philippines have deteriorated due to repeated maritime confrontations and diplomatic disputes. Beijing claims sovereignty over most of the South China Sea and has accused Philippines of global trespassing. The Chinese embassy in Manila has not responded to Marcos's latest remarks. And meanwhile, reports indicate that U.S. forces recently relocated the Typhoon missile launchers within the Philippines. The officials have not disclosed their new position. So, um, yeah, a lot um, of impact. Yes, especially in terms of, and Thailand is one, as, as, as we mentioned earlier, one of the biggest focus for the new government, or the present government, sorry, is uh, relations to China. In the meantime, though, now we often see that uh, there are geopolitical uh, conflicts or concerns in various parts of the world, but